Hey friends, welcome back to Life with Mrs B. Today for Foodie Friday, I have another what's for dinner video. I have four delicious meals for you that you could use for either lunches or dinner. Two of these we did actually use for lunch and the other two we had for dinner. So enjoy my friends. Tonight for dinner, we're having tacos. I'm making this at lunchtime so that it's ready for us for dinner because we've got a busy little afternoon. That's a really good tip if you find yourself like just running out of time some days and then you go and grab a takeaway or fast food or whatever it is. You can prep your food in advance. You could make this a couple of days in advance. You could make it for lunches. So anyway, just onions and I've got 500 grams of Aberdeen Angus steak mince. This is the one from Costco. I'm just going to brown this up and then we're going to add in homemade taco seasoning. <laughs> Sometimes I have it in a jar already made up. Sometimes I just Add in the cumin, some paprika, some garlic powder, salt, pepper, just that kind of thing. A little bit of water and then I'll take it out of here and put it in a wee dish and we'll heat it up later on. It's a lot later now and although for you it's only been like three seconds. So to go with our tacos tonight I'm making a quick pickled red onion. So I've got some red onions then in here I'm making the pickle, uh, well like the pickling juice, the brain. So I've got some water, some vinegar, some maple syrup, some salt. I'm going to bring that up and I'm going to slice these pretty thinly. And then in here, I'm going to do some corn. I'm hoping, let's see, Thomas went shopping. Did he get feta? Did he get feta? Oh, it's a cheese we're going to use, Oban, for it to go with our corn. And he got some feta. Yes. So we're going to do like a it's meant to be like a kind of, um, like a latte, is that what you call it? But not because you just use corn off the cob. We're going to give that a try. I'll show you as we go. Oban's making some refried beans. Oh yes. <laughs> Although I use kidney beans instead of pinto beans, um, just because that's what we have. So it's we're going to mash this nice up. nice with kidney beans. Is it? It's nicer with kidney beans? Mm -hmm. So we're going to mash it up. You get a fork open. Then we're going to add some lime juice, some cumin, all the seasonings that I added to the taco meat. Then we're going to do some lettuce, some cheese, some salsa. It's getting kind of dark now, but I hope you can see how the corn is looking. It is kind of got some brown charred bits on it from being in the pan. So now I'm going to mix it. I've got a couple of things to mix it with. We've got some spring onion. I'll leave the link for the recipe that I'm using below, but we've got some spring onion, some mayonnaise, some lime juice, the feta, some salt, I think that's about it. So here's how dinner turned out. We've got our beans over here. We've got, these are just some little mini wraps, some lechuga, some salsa, some cheese grated by this fair maiden. And beans <laughs> mashed half by me. Beans mashed half by you. And then here's how the corn turned out. So you can see with all the goodies it's got in it and the beef and the pickled onions, pickled red onions that I made. They are really nice, really nice. So we're going to get stuck in. Yeah. Yes, okay, who's going to pray? Today's dinner, well, it's actually a lunch that we're having. I am making mac and cheese or cheesy pasta, whatever you want to call it. I'm not baking this um, because I don't have time. <laughs> so in here I have got some butter. I'm going to make my roux. So you just need some butter, some flour. A lot of people don't, oh, this flour is so far down. <laughs> um, a lot of people think that making a roux is difficult, but honestly, it's... A sauce like this is fine to make, it's really easy. And then I do actually have some chicken I'm going to put in it too. Let's see if I can open it. I had, we had a roast chicken the other day and I got a lot of leftover chicken. So I pulled everything off the bone. I know those kids are so noisy out there, do you hear them? So I pulled everything off it and we're just going to put some of that in it as well. In here I've got 60 grams of melted butter, 60 grams of flour, then I've got about 800, 900 mils of milk. So once this is cooked together for a little bit and that kind of raw flour taste is gone, you just add your milk in. I do it gradually, but I know some people just chuck it all in. Then you've got white sauce, which could be used for lasagna. Um, although I always put cheese in my lasagna sauce, always. And then we're gonna add in cheese, probably three, 400 grams. And then we'll add in the chicken and the pasta. I've already cooked half a bag of pasta. And that's it. A lot of people think it's quite scary. If you wanted to bake it, you could. Um, but as I said, I don't have time today because we need to move. So now my sauce has really 
thickened, it's kind of bubbly. I'm going to add in some cheese. I think veggies, oh, I'm going to make the whole big enough. <laughs> I think veggie wise, um, this is frozen cheese. Did you know you can grate cheese and freeze it? And my kids are so loud, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, veggie wise, I think I'm just going to stick some broccoli and cauliflower, like freezer steam packets I have in the microwave and just serve that with this. Here's how it looks with the chicken added in, the pasta added in, and I added in some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, and another bag of cheese. So I didn't use up all that chicken. I probably only used, oh, my voice. <laughs> I probably only used about a third. And then I'm just going to put this in the bowls, serve the veggies on the side. I'm Here's how it looks. Nothing fancy, but it's going to be delicious. Fills a hole and the kids will eat every single bit of it. Today's what's for dinner idea is actually another lunch idea, but I thought it would be cool to show you guys how I'm kind of using up these leftovers. So today I've got some of the leftover chicken that I used in the mac and cheese yesterday. So we've got that. I've got the lettuce from the tacos. I've got a small portion, like probably enough for one person of the mac and cheese that we had yesterday. That was all that was left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these leftovers to make a barbecue chicken type salad with some lettuce, cucumbers, carrots. We're going to have some of the pasta, the macaroni on the side. I'm going to make some croutons with some bread and we're going to have some grated cheese. For the croutons, you just need to cut some bread into little cubes. It's better if you've got old bread. This bread is so fresh and it's so soft and hard to cut. Um, and then some olive oil some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, mix it all together and then roast it in the oven. You really need to keep an eye on it because it can burn quite easily. I'll probably burn mine, <laughs> touch wood. But that's all, that's how easy it is to make your own croutons. Here's how the croutons turned out. Nice, crispy, golden, delicious. And I didn't burn them. And here is how the plates turned out. So we've got the barbecue ch chicken, can't speak. <laughs> barbecue chicken, which I just heated up in the microwave put on that sweet baby raised sauce. We've got some of the macaroni, lettuce, cucumber, carrots. I did use my crinkle cutter for these, which makes them a fun shape. I don't know if it makes them eat them any better. <laughs> the cucumber, some cheese, the croutons, and I also have some of the pickled red onions left from yesterday. So I'm going to serve them up too. Tonight for dinner, well, for the kids' dinner, they are having burgers. Me and Thomas aren't eating this because we have been fasting. A few days a week and it is not this kind of day for us so I'm sad but anyway I mean homemade buns don't they look delicious they look so cute and the burgers you can make your own beef burgers today I'm using these ones these are from Waitrose Thomas got them reduced 75 pence and they're organic so fancy I am going to actually smush them down if you can see they're quite thick they're not that wide but they're quite thick so I'm going to push them down and then pop, when I pop them on a baking tray and I'm just going to cook them in the oven. I was going to make homemade chips, but time has got away from me. I am I just always seem to have stuff to do, always have stuff to do. So, you know, I made homemade rolls, but no homemade chips. I'm probably just going to shove some waffles in and then do some veggies on the side. And here is how the dinner turned out for the kids. Potato waffle, burger, veggies. I know that they will eat all of this. The sky especially, that <laughs> looks like a lot of food, but she is one growing girl so she will eat all of that I doubt there will be anything left and that is dinner tonight my friends thank you so much for watching guys I really hope you enjoyed if you did give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video new videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday see ya